Ayo, welcome back to another video guys. Today we have a lot of news to go over, including new Cyber Monday, new Frostfell gear. We're getting Frostfell gear already. Well, I guess it's November, right? It's like late November, but <laughs> we're getting Frostfell gear finally. I've been waiting all year for it. Honestly, I love Frostfell. Always good gear. Let's get into the video. All right, I spent a good deal of time before this video trying to find a set that would go good with the new cape that is in the shop here. I don't think I've actually showed this off in a video. It's kind of news and I don't want anyone to miss out on this cape. So I'm going to show it in this video really quickly. If you have 100,000 gold and you have a membership, pick this up. I don't know if you can buy it if you don't have a membership. I don't think you can buy it if you don't have a membership. That'd be cool if they let you buy membership items uh, when you didn't have a membership and then you could use some when you do have a membership. That would be cool if they did that. Um, I'm sure they'd actually sell more memberships if they did that because people would buy items and be like, oh, I wish I had a membership to use this item in my inventory, and then they'd buy a membership. Maybe that would work. I don't know. I don't see an issue with letting non-members buy member-only items, but if you do have a membership, definitely pick up this item flame cape. I have it on my character right now. It's got a cool uh, frosty animation, whatever that is. It looks very nice. First is first. We have Elena. Coming at us with some Cyber Monday Overclocked. I like how they use the Overclocked Cyber Fiend Blade, which means they turned up the frequency on that Cyber Fiend. It's very bright, very orange. Um, yeah, I have the Fiend Blade. Uh, it's a Juggernaut item, of course, and it looks very different, of course. Uh, it's orange. I don't know if that's color custom. I don't see any other orange part on Elena. Uh, but she's also wearing an armor here that is brand new. Green armor. I'll actually have a closer look at that. In the next uh next web page but looks good this is the armor that came out for arch paladin and they put a green on it which yeah this stuff's for cyber monday uh what's weird about this week this week yeah, yeah this whole week is on wednesday tomorrow there's a, the uh friday event is tomorrow so on friday we're having black friday cyber monday those two shops are coming on friday so the monday shop and the friday shop are coming out on Friday, so no Cyber Monday on Monday. They might add more items on Monday. That would be cool if they added more uh, items on Cyber Monday. But this uh, Friday is Black Friday, and Cyber Monday items are coming out. But on Wednesday, tomorrow, we're having the uh, United States Thanksgiving event. So that's tomorrow on Wednesday. Just a little piece of info. So I'll be live streaming tomorrow on Wednesday, too. So here is a new blade. Uh... Actually, I don't know if it's new. It might be returning from another year. It's called a Toxic Venom Blade. That might not be the rename for it, but it's, it looks cyber-themed, so I thought I'd include this in the video. Uh, some people might not have found it. And, uh, yeah, it could be for Black Friday, or it could be from a past Black Friday. I'm unsure, but uh, that is what it is. Talking about Thanksgiving, we have the Raw, raw Gobbler. I always say Raw, but it's Roar gobbler up event coming out tomorrow uh here's the little screenshot of the war uh looks interesting that we got a turkey drac drac uh draken i think dragon chicken mixed together i think that's what that is uh so a little bit of a screenshot there of what the war will look like in battle on uh, the house is on fire a little bit yeah so just a little bit of detail there a brand new armor for cyber monday from I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Someone told me it was pronounced Cruel. Um, I don't know, but this guy's awesome. He does really cool art. Uh, so I have kind of a progression here. So this is the first tweet he tweeted about the armor. Um, then, oh, gets a little bit more detailed. And uh, this is the lines he uses for shading, which is kind of interesting if you want to know how the armors are made. So uh, you take this into like Photoshop or Flash or whatever they. I think Adobe Flash, or, or like it's called Adobe Animate now, or something like that. So they put it in there, and they, sh they put the lines in there for shading, so you can see the same part of the leg where those lines are. They're now, they're now shaded in uh, different colors of gray. It looks very, very detailed. And there's the female version, and the male version, but there's also a different variation of the female version, with a uh, like no armor there. So this set reminds me a lot of like a genji slash like warframe looking armor uh of course the katanas really gives it that genji look so the two katanas on the back like that but if you look at this early picture here 
the two katanas are on the side. Um, so I don't know if that changed or if there'll be two different variations of the cape. We will see, of course. And uh, he did con well, he didn't confirm, but he said he was going to uh, try to make it color custom. And I think it is because this is pink and that's uh, like a light blue. So the set is probably got color custom on like the accessory color. Just one color, color custom. I doubt you can change the color of the armor, the gray part. Well, maybe you can. That would be awesome if you could. Honestly, that would be one of the greatest armors this, uh, this Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I guess they're on the same day. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So this version, I wonder if there's a male, is this a female only version? I hope not, because there's also a male. So this is very interesting. I like this armor. I actually think I'm going to get this version of the armor instead of this one, because that looks very cool. Like, I don't know, it looks kind of like, kind of like a like, uh, Call of Duty sort of like uh, jump boost character. kind of looks like a, that a little bit, but it looks like a Warframe, like if they're mix, missing their like chest plate. Like, it looks really cool. I don't know what I like about it so much but it just looks cool okay moving on from Cyber Monday Black Friday we have the new December event winter is coming so that's their tagline for the event I don't know where they got that from uh, so two bosses is it gonna be a war uh, warlords want revenge and a retweet and like depending on which one you like better it could be sort of like a war storyline uh, and then we have another picture. I uh, just thought I'd include this because uh, the art on that looks kind of cool. The helmet. Maybe that's a maybe that's a helmet you can get in the December update. Who knows? J6 with some background art. Here is what the event could look like. I mean, it's going to be December really soon. So this could be sooner than we think. Um, looks really nice. Uh, J6 is very good at doing those background art. Now, now we move on to the main event of this episode of the AKW news i'm just gonna call them episodes i always call them episodes and i'm just gonna stop referring from not calling them episodes these are episodes now so welcome to the episode of AKW news today um dage santa hats we got new santa hats oh boy oh boy oh boy um it looks sick honestly this frostfell items look at the blade like the blue and the blade just the detail i love that dage is making AQW items again. Oh, look at that hair, like the brand new hairstyle, the hat, and the hat's got an animation on it too if you look closely at it. If we can replay it. See the hat's kind of like wiggling back and forth a little bit. Oh, this is so cool. Just love it. Okay, so let me that audio. A Legion version. So, you'll notice that this one is quite different from this one. Uh, there's not, the arms are different, of course. And, there's a lot more different like little legion details in my personal preference i think these uh spikes like they have no detail in them it's kind of just black i mean this could be unfinished um but those spikes kind of take away from the armor in my opinion uh they probably make me actually not wear this armor because of those like that's like the one thing on the armor that makes me not want to wear it that happens with a lot of armors and i really hate that but yeah if those spikes were removed or there was a different version, an alternate version, uh, without those spikes, I would I would definitely like that a lot more. That's just my personal opinion. Otherwise, I think the armor looks amazing, and I definitely want it. Here is an alternate version. You'll see that there's, there's no Legion on this. Uh, it's just a great, like, a dark version of it. It's sort of Legion-y, like, with the dark, with the blue on the blade, and then, uh, I think, is there any blue accents? Kind of like a greenish, like, a greenish accent to it, it looks like. And then he put a blue glow around the boots, which it's referring, he's trying to show it as Legion item, I guess. But you can see it's like missing the skulls and like the spikes and a few other different little details around the armor. But basically it looks like the same armor just without the Legion stuff on it. So this could be a good alternative. Although I re would really like this version without the arm spikes there because that just really doesn't fit with like when you have like a cl all cloth armor with a little bit of like uh like some decorative stuff on it then you put spikes on it that doesn't really make any sense in my opinion but i don't know it's up to dage and his artistic opinion on or his whatever his direction is for the armor thank you guys for watching this episode of the adventure quest news now that you're up to date have fun playing the update tomorrow. I'll be streaming the update tomorrow on this channel. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, we'll be streaming 
I don't know what time, if it comes out early in the morning, it'll probably be like an afternoon stream, or an early afternoon stream, but if it comes out later in the day, it'll be a 3.30 stream. Um, okay, I'll keep you guys up to date on Twitter tomorrow uh, when the stream will happen, because I have no clue when the update will be out, uh, so don't ask me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you enjoy, comment down below the favorite thing you're looking forward to, mine is definitely these new oh, Santa hats coming, oh, can't wait. I really want to get that. Like, it, it kind of doesn't look like a Sam hat, more like an elf hat, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a new Christmas hat. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. All right. To the people that sat through the whole 10 minute video, uh, here's a little bit of news for the channel. Um, I used to have a G2A affiliate link. Uh, like, you don't need to, like, email them or anything. Like, you can just sign up for the affiliate program on their website. You can do the same thing for Kingwin. Um, G2A, I've had bad um, service with them, so I started using Kingwin because basically the same thing, except they have way better service, uh, like customer service. So there's a Kingwin affiliate link in the description. Thank you guys for watching like the whole video to the end. That's insane. Thank you very much. So um, yeah, uh, there's a new affiliate link there. You can get um, how the site works basically. When a game goes on sale on like Humble Bundle or something like that, they'll buy the game and they'll put it on the website for like five or ten percent more than they bought it. So like let's say. Rainbow Six Siege, a game I recently purchased, goes on sale somewhere. They'll buy that like on Steam, and then you can buy it from them uh, if the game isn't on sale currently on Steam. So like, let's say it goes on sale for twenty bucks, it's normally sixty. So it's sixty bucks on Steam right now, but on their website it'll be like twenty-two dollars because they bought it for twenty, and then they're selling it to you for twenty-two. Uh, so they make money like that, and you get the game cheaper than it is on Steam right now, and you can activate the code on Steam. That's how the website works. Uh, there's an affiliate link in the description. I'm not getting paid at all to tell you about this, uh, but I do get a percentage from the affiliate uh, link. So just thought I'd mention that. It's Kingwin. If you don't know about the website and you play on games on PC, definitely go there. Uh, they have DLC and stuff for different games too. Uh, yeah, not getting paid at all just through the affiliate program, and I just thought I'd clear that up. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I really appreciate that, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Welcome to the outro of the video. If you haven't seen my last video, it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Go ahead and click the card up there. That'll bring you to the last video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post a lot on Twitter. If you're never going to contact me, my DMs are always open on Twitter. So you can feel free to contact me there. And Facebook is where I post all my videos. So if you use Facebook and want to keep up with my videos, following me there is definitely a good thing to do. I'll see you guys all in the next video.